going deep and deep. Uh, today, with many great masters from Korea, as well as Mr. Uh, Master Eric, and what we wanted to do is talk to you a little bit about what we're doing with this whole point MMA and the direction that we're going in. But we also want Master Eric to give us a brief introduction on himself and our guest speakers today. Yes, sir. Sure, I, I would like to start with uh, the Korean Grandmasters. First, to the far left, uh, Grandmaster Hong Jung Lee. Grandmaster Wong Jung Lee is a famous international martial arts movie star and uh, Murakwan uh, Tang Sudo practitioner. Uh, he's also a ninth Don Tang Sudo Murakwan. And uh, it's very, he did over 340 films, martial arts films. Very famous, uh, made Jackie Chan look good. Uh, so that's Grandmaster Wong Jung Lee. And next to my left is uh, Grandmaster Chang Il Do, uh, also again an international film star. Uh, and he's also known as Bruce Lai, uh, finished some Bruce Lee movies. And after Bruce Lee had passed away, he had a, a film career with over 40 movies. Uh, also, known, he had a few different names uh, Chang Il Do, uh, Bruce Lai. And my name is Master Eric Kowalski, and I'm the host of the uh, USA National Karate Championships, as well as the Legends in the Martial Arts Hall of Fame with Grandmaster Cynthia Rothrock. When we, when we think of martial arts, and we think of how valuable the principles of martial arts is for our society, what would you say your ultimate goal of getting across the traditional elements of Korean martial arts? How valuable is it? especially to change another generation of kids that might be going down a wrong path, or martial artists that might see UFC or mixed martial arts as being what martial arts is all about. I think it's very important that masters and, and, and students and, and even people who don't take martial arts realize is that the UFC is not all martial arts. It's mixed martial arts. It's a little of this, a little of that, a little of this kind of... Uh, you know, put, putting, putting people in the ring to fight is a little different than, a lot different than traditional martial arts. In traditional martial arts, uh, we, we stress core values, traditional tenets, uh, uh, principles, it is a core belief system, not just fighting. Anyone can fight, you know, but not anyone can follow a certain doctrine or, or, or follow, you know, a certain uh, history, you know, and, and especially having these great grandmasters here, uh, you know, we're able to be part of an even bigger history and trace our lineage all the way back to the founders of our arts and even previous to that. And, and I, I think it's all right. In fourth place, Jackie Stalker. I want you to say, you, if you had a vision that you would like to see all martial artists display, what would that, place, that, that example or image be for you two? And in first place,
make anybody a better person than without having yes. than the lack of. And, and that brings me to give us that direction with Cook and MMA. It is an opportunity to tap into the momentum of MMA, but it's called Cook and MMA. Are you technically ready? And in order to be technically ready, you got to be mentally ready, spiritually ready, and physically ready. So here's a way we believe that if we can implement a competition that allows us to ground fight, allows us to punish and kick, and be able to come a couple of inches away from making contact without doing damage, because you know you can kill a man and you can stop a technique a couple of inches away from him. But we believe that this can bring the traditional elements back. I don't think that in a dojo an instructor should be standing with tattoos and teaching another generation of kids, because it creates a division between the parent and the teacher. I mean, am I making sense? And, 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 and what we're hoping is that Point MMA can give us a chance to allow the next generation of martial arts to make a decision based on what they really want to do, not based on the leaders. So everybody want to go to MMA because, and they want to put on all this stuff because they think that's what their heroes do. Right. But martial arts is about freedom of expression. Um, what do you think that the Point MMA could do? I mean, if we unite together, if, if, if it is continue to change, to adapt, to serve that universal purpose. Do you think it could add value to our great industry? Sure, I, I think that it can. For the most people who do not train martial arts right now have a bad vision because of what they see on TV. They don't understand what traditional or real martial arts is about. Not sports, not fighting, not uh, barroom brawling. I, I, you know, I, I, I think it's important with, with, with the, the point MMA is going to teach children self-defense in, in a, a, a certain way where technically they're gifted, mentally they're gifted, spiritually they're gifted, the same as like traditional Ramsado, traditional Kabush, all, all the traditional martial arts. And, and I, I think it's the bigger thing on top of this is it's going to teach the public to educate. And once you start educating the public about what traditional martial arts are about, then they understand, then they make better decisions. Then they say, you know, I don't want my child to watch this, this fighting on TV because what is the outcome? What is the purpose? What are they really learning? So one guy can beat up another and make a couple bucks. You know, and, and, and children come up and say, oh man, it's my idol. Rather, rather than realize what like traditional martial arts, who would not idolize Bruce Lai, right, or Huang Jung Li? I mean, Silver Fox. You have Silver Fox sitting, you know, as, you know. How long have you been studying, and how long have you been studying? Uh, I was just studying it when I was in middle school. Yeah, yeah. 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 I was a kid who used to live in a real bad environment, never, and I used to hold pictures up on the wall of people like you. And this sends a lot of hope to a child out there right now to see that if you dream and you practice the core the tradition of what martial arts teaches us and follow your masters and believe in something much higher, they can achieve anything they want to achieve. So I thank you guys so much today for just giving us the interview. Thank you so uh, much, yes, sir. Thank you. Is that, is that happened to you? Yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. thank you. I am not worried. <laughs> Neither am 